Uh, I'm very optimistic to win the case, but I have to say that I have been very optimistic all the time. I would never have believed <laughs> that this happens in Finland because uh, we are a democracy uh, with uh, freedom of speech and freedom of religion in our constitution. And we have also uh, uh, signed up uh, to international uh, uh, human rights treaties. So it has been very unbelievable all the time that this process has continued. So you never can know what happens if I will be convicted and if my uh, pamphlet that I have written already 20 years ago or these uh, social media updates, if they will be banned, then it would mean that thousands of similar uh, writings and uh, statements would be banned. Um, in fact, Prosecutor General, she has said in public that if Päivi Rasanen is convicted, is, it is still allowed uh, to have Bibles in the libraries and to have debates and discussions about the Bible and even to cite the Bible. But what is forbidden is to agree with the Bible. And at the same time, she compared the Bible to Mein Kampf and said that they are, uh, they have this kind of uh, hate speech. So you, you, you can't, um, you, you, you are allowed in your mind to agree with the Bible, you, but you can't uh, state it publicly. So I, I think that it would be dangerous uh, for these uh, basic freedoms if I am convicted. I would like to encourage uh, people now to use their freedoms, to use the right and freedom to speech and religion, because the more we are silent about these uh, issues, the narrower will be the space for the freedom of speech and religion. And that's why now it is the time for Christians to be open about their faith and, and uh, tell openly about the message of the Bible and especially about uh, the, the message of the gospel. What would the consequence of a criminal conviction be if you know, this case doesn't go your way. I would say that it would be a catastrophe to freedom of speech and freedom of religion. It would start a time of persecution because if my writings, if, if my pamphlet, if it is banned, then they should ban also the Bible. And that was what the police said. The police who's, who is specialized in hate speech, he said in his statement that if the booklet of Päivi Rasanen would be banned. Then also the distribution of the Bibles should be punished. And then we have also thousands of similar writings and, and speeches and radio programs and TV programs. All these writings could be punished after that. Yeah. And that's why I'm ready to fight so long as it is possible, even to European Court of Human Rights. It is impossible to think the consequences, what could happen after that kind of conviction. Shalom, Kaala Yahawa, Bashem Yashai, Bashem Rukakwadash, Dabarish, my teachers, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and mercy to the elect, who the house of David will be born again in this generation, and Shalom to the 130 Yashurala who today are known as the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, who before losing our true heritage, we were known as, and still are, the true Hebrew Israelites of the Holy Bible. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about the coming silencing of the truth. That being the advancements of all these online hate bill laws and persecution that is currently going on. Now, 
before I get into this current event that's going on over in Finland, let's read this. This is Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Hawabashim Shai power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Well, you see, what's been happening these last couple of years is that Esau, Edom, which is the biblical name for the Caucasian race, which is the current nationality of people that rule the world, they've been coming down on the truth, right? Primarily the Bible, but doing it on a broader scale, not only the, the Bible, but also conspiracy theories, alternate news, and, and whatnot. And the, the, the real target is ultimately the, the prophets of the Lord bringing out the truth of the Bible and who these Edomites are and what their agenda is. But what's happening is that this is being done in a very slow manner, so slow that it's hard to, to see it unless you're looking for it. Well, this right here, a, a big event happened last year when a politician from Finland actually was charged with online hate speech for quoting, uh, you know, uh, biblical texts about um, homosexual marriage. Well, let's just read this article real quick and then we'll get into the latest article about her. It says, Finnish elected official charged for quoting the Bible. Finland claims to protect free speech, but its persecutor general is targeting parliament Dr. Pavi Rasanin for her beliefs. And this is the lady that we just seen the videos of, of her speaking of the dangers that are going to be coming if Esau passes these, these laws, which we know he is. And why is he going to do that? Well, we just read it because the Lord is ultimately going to, to cut off this truth from the world. You see, right now, the Lord is giving his truth, his message, and his mercy. He's, he's extending his hand to those who are willing to turn back now before the persecution comes, before the Jacob's trouble begins. Now, when that time comes and the Lord finally says enough, and just as he did on the Ark of Noah, right, when he, he himself, the Lord, shut the Ark and nobody was able to come in, the Lord is also going to shut the doors of mercy where nobody else can come into this truth. Meaning that it's not going to be easy for them to go out on the streets or online and hear the lessons from me, the apostles, and other brothers out here who are spreading this truth and giving back uh, the true heritage and the narrative of what's actually going on in the biblical sense. Now, what you're seeing here is just a consequence of this dragnet coming down upon the world. This is why you're seeing this this happening here in Finland, right? And why is it so important where Finland is? Well, first of all, let's look to see where Finland is, just so in case some of you Akim need to know. It is across the Atlantic Ocean over here, right by Sweden. Okay, this is Finland. And the reason why Finland is, is, is an important part is because Finland is part of the UN NATO system, okay? And the laws that go on there will ultimately affect not only the NATO EU nations, but also America. And why is that? Well, because you see, Obama, back in 2016, signed over ICANN to the UN. And if you don't know what ICANN is, I know because I, I work in the internet industry, ICANN is, it tells you here, it says the Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers. Basically, when you put in Google, this is the company that, that tells the internet and your computer what IP address Google points to. Okay, this is why if you have a website name, like for example, greatmillstone.com, uh, if they wanted to, they could kill that name and the website would still be up, but there'd be no name pointing to it. Okay, and that's because Obama signed over or surrendered the the right to to this corp corporation to this company uh to to the eu and now all the eu laws now fall upon this company 
Okay, so the hate speech regulations and all that stuff. And no longer is this company under the, you know, First Amendment, you know, the freedom of speech regulations here in the, that it was afforded here in the U.S. Okay, so let's read this. This is Isaiah 10 and 1. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed. And this ultimately is talking about these Edomites, right? Esau and his whole conglomerate political system around the world, which he has operated and maneuvers whichever way he wants to get his ways. You see, that's the thing about the political machine around the world. On the surface, it appears as a just and righteous system where you can get justice. But we all know, and we can see it even more plainly now, that the political system, the legal system that's in place, is a, is a multi-tiered legal system where namely Esau and the elites of Esau for that matter are the ones that benefit from it. And us Israelites, the Negro Latino Native Americans, are the ones who are crushed by it. Okay, And this is ultimately what these devils are coming after. This is why, when you, like I said, when you look around what's been happening in the last couple of years, this is in 2022, when New York uh, started to push forward this, where it says Governor Holchel announces launch of new hate and bias prevention unit within the State Division of Human Rights. Right, this lady who wasn't even um, uh, wasn't even uh, elected, she was basically uh, put into office with I think emergency powers because the last guy, um, the guy who was offering burgers for the for taking that snake bite shot, uh, got ousted or something like that. But the point being is that New York is pass passing this anti-hate speech bill. Uh, it tells you here, a hate crime bill passes in Michigan House. Republicans voice concerns over free speech. This is that law now that if you misgender people, um, that's actual a, a crime now, right? And here, Florida legislators support a bill to make hate speech flyers a hate crime. You see, ultimately, all these, and there's lots more hate speech legislation going in all over the place. And But why is this? Why can't you speak about the Bible? Well, because you see, when your kingdom is built on a series of lies, the truth is hate to you. This is Philippians 1 and 28. And in nothing terrified by your adversaries, which is to them an evident token of perdition, destruction, but to you of salvation, and that of God. You see, to us Negro Latino Native Americans, the gospel, the true gospel of the Bible that tells us Israelites that we are going to be restored, put back into power, and that the devils that run the world who are imposters who have taken our heritage and rule everything in wickedness, they're going to be taken out of, out of power and they're going to be dealt with. Right? That to us is good news. To us, it's from it's the word from God and this is the way it's, it's going to be. But to them, the Edomites in power, this is hate speech to them because to them, it speaks about their impending destruction, which they can't do anything about, but hope that we're wrong about it. But what does the Bible say? This is Job 14 and 5. Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. So these devils, it doesn't matter how many laws they make, right? It doesn't matter when they eventually do outlaw speaking about the truth and, and preaching the Bible. What was it? Uh, those Israeli Amalekites pushed that law that Christians can't talk about Jesus over there in the uh, Holy Land. You see, this is, these are signs that we're in the end. These devils are trying to cut off this truth as much as they can, right? But again, this is only the, the beginning of this Akiyam, you know, just wanted to let you all know what's going on. So you can see here that the devils are fighting this truth from coming out and they're doing what they can to stop it from reaching the ears of the people. This is Isaiah 55 and 6. Seek ye Yahweh Bashim al Shai while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Right now, we are all able to get this truth from the apostles me the other brothers so it behooves us to all to keep studying to learn 
get in as much of, of the, the lessons and the truth that we can. Avoid all these, what I like to call entertainment lessons where they, they're, you know, doing rap videos or they're basically just talking about, you know, camp drama, things like that. You know, yes, you know, some of that stuff is necessary, but for the most part, you as a regular Israelite, we don't need to be watching this stuff. What we need to be focusing on are the lessons, are the truth of the Bibles, the breakdowns of chapters. That's what we should all focus on now, Akim. All right? Well, hopefully this video was edifying. Until next time, I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rukakwadash. Shalom.